I know that for the past three weeks, uh, mm -hmm. uh, we have been talking about the different reasons for Trey Lance. I want to continue to stick to that. I still okay. think the pick is going to be uh, Trey Lance. Very uh, interesting. For all the reasons. Yeah. Yes. For all the reasons that we talked about, I'm still okay. uh, even more convinced that it's going to be. But let's see how it how it plays out. Uh, sure. There was a few things that I wanted to sort of, again, listening to all your conversations during the week. Um, I wanted to talk about a couple of different things. So the first one is the Mac Jones rumor. So why it is so strong? I know that people have backed off a little bit, but yes. Uh, but again, the reality is that it's been consistently strong. And even now, yes. the reporter is saying, hey, it's Mac Jones, but maybe if it is not, it's Trey Lance, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Here is one plausible reason I was thinking. What I feel is, if one of the reasons probably Niners did that is because they wanted to soft land the pick for Trey Lance. Because imagine if this Mac Jones rumor was not there, everybody still loves Justin Fields and you end up right. picking <clears throat> Trey Lance over Justin Fields, people are going to freak out. Now, yes. it is like, oh, like we got Trey Lance over Mac Jones. So Yes, it's not Mac Jones. Can you explain the concept of a soft landing? Yeah, so it's basically like so that you don't let the disappointment uh, hit too hard for the fans. Yes. Yes. So it's it's because otherwise, imagine if the Mac Jones rumor was that everybody will be it's Justin Fields, right? And then come on the draft day, they pick Trey Lance. Everybody will be like, "Whoa! Like what just happened?" Yes, it's a so, catastrophe. Exactly. But now, but now since it's Mac Jones, now it's the best. It's a cause for celebration. It's a time exactly. to toast and bring out the champagne. That's that. Yeah, I've been thinking the same thing. I just didn't know the word for it. Is that? Is that like a, a business word, soft landing? Uh, yeah, it, it I does. like it. Like, <laughs> Perfect. It's exactly yeah. the concept I'm looking for. Yeah, I think there's something to that. Correct. Yeah. So, yeah. and the other potential reason could, of course, be that when they were trying to trade up, maybe everybody because they were trying all these different picks to determine the value, people just assumed that it was going to be Mac Jones because they were flexible yes. to all these other picks. Sure. Um, but, but same I, same applies to Trey, right? Exactly. So, yeah. but I still think it's Trey. Uh, so if the Niners stick at three and take a quarterback at three, I'm with you. Uh, yeah. If if Kyle's dead set adamant on Mac Jones, maybe they'll get tricky and trade down again. I don't get it, but I I will, yeah, I think it makes sense at three. Trey makes the most sense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And sort of related to this, one of the things that intrigued me during the, your conversations during the week was like, hey, if I were Salah, I would be nervous, like because Kyle is sitting yeah. right behind me, and what pick he's going to uh, take. That kind of made me think that if I were Kyle, I would be nervous about Bill Belichick. Like, again, that guy is trying to come right behind me in all likelihood. So mm -hmm. imagine Kyle goes and picks Mac Jones or Trey Lance, and then Bill Belichick comes and picks, picks Justin Fields, like trades up and comes and picks. If I were Kyle, I would be nervous about that too. So it's not just... Terrifying. That, yeah, exactly. So, and it almost yeah. feels like, like a... Uh, like like a slap in the face, like, you move there because you think I'm going to mess up, don't you? Correct. You think I'm weak. You think I'm weak. Like, wow, Correct. interesting. Okay, all right. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So I think yeah. that's another thing just to um, yeah. keep, keep, a, keep a watch for. Yeah. yeah. The other thing that I want to talk about, I know that you talked about, hey, why did they sign Nate Sutfeld? And this is like, hey, if they're really going to pick up this athletic quarterback, why the rest of the quarterback room is Josh Rosen, Nate Settle, and the likes uh, of those. Again, the reason I feel for that is they still want a pocket quarterback. Even if they pick, uh, let us say, a Trey Lance, mm. they've got to train him to be a po pocket quarterback. Ah. Because that's, that's what they want. I, I mean, That's what they want. Ultimately, yeah. ultimately, I feel that Trey Lance, he'll be used on special packages in red zone uh, mm -hmm. if it was pure running. And of course, sometimes like when the defense blitz and there's no way, rather than be a sitting duck in the pocket and get, sprain your ankle, you can escape. But other than that, I don't think they're going to have put in this running, too much of running the way Lamar Jackson does it. So that's yeah. why they, I feel that they really need that uh, strong pocket. Quarter. Yeah, also Nate Sudfeld, was, he was an understudy for Carson Wentz for a long time. So it would be kind of an easy exactly. transition to go to the next North Dakota State guy. Exactly. Sorry, great call. Yeah, ab absolutely. And then the last one, uh, Grant, is again, Jimmy G, right? What are we going to do? Mm -hmm. This is something that I've been going back and forth in terms of are mm -hmm. they going to keep Jimmy G or are they going to trade him? 
what I feel right now is the biggest value of Jimmy G more than trading him. Probably they won't get much back. I know that they're saying first round. It's really that competition that he brings because any new QB that you bring in, you don't want you want that guy to compete and win the job. I agree with but, that. Yeah, Jimmy never competed. Yeah, exactly. So it is in some sense. If you Jimmy's biggest value is like if he can provide that competition to this new yeah. guy and the new guy wins outright rather than feeling entitled when he comes in. Uh, so I feel they are not only that. I, I feel like also for the locker room. So the so it's legit. It's like hey, we didn't just uh, railroad Jimmy and artificially insert his replacement. Like it, it played out right in front of you guys. You guys were part of it. You ran the routes. You blocked. You saw it. He won. We're going with it. Yeah, you know, as a team, I'm with you on that. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome. Just last one. If they do end up pick, uh, picking Mac Jones, uh, I think you should coin that Mac freaking Jones. You should move from <laughs> Bet- CJ freaking Beathard to Mac <laughs> exactly. freaking Jones. Mac yeah. Freaking Jones. Yeah. So. If they take Mac Jones at number three, my immediate uh, grade blog will just be Mac freaking Jones. Grade F minus. F minus. Exactly. <laughs>